hello guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to continue with the ideal romantic partner series uh today i'm going to also follow a request of someone that wanted me to read for twice geo so i'm really happy actually to read some feminine energy i think that the last one was rosé so um I'm, I'm glad that i can mix up a bit between the idols not reading so much for male idols and leaving uh, the feminine energy behind Let, let's also um, read for the females um, so let's start uh, by talking a bit about um, Gio's energy um, she is an Aquarius uh, with uh, a moon in Scorpio and I believe that her Venus is in Capricorn um, she does have a lot of Capricorn planets as well so I think that this also adds up this energy about her ability to be very rational when it comes to relationships and actually uh, about being a leader. I think that it makes sense that she is a leader uh, because she's very, she has this very stable energy, even though she is an earth sign, which is Aquarius, that I always confuse her for a Gemini. I, I know I've done a reading for her and I think that I spent the first 10 minutes talking about her energy as a Gemini and I was so ashamed <laughs> but well it's her energy nevertheless um, so um, but always um, what um, I always find interesting about Gio it's uh, Harmonious Scorpio um, because her uh, last uh, public relationship uh, with um, also an idol, uh, Khan Daniel, um, he is uh, a Sagittarius, a double Sag, a double Sagittarius, Sun and Moon, and his Venus is in Scorpio, so it means that her Moon was very favorable, favorable aspected for them to actually be each other's um, like ideal type, you know, or, or at least very compatible when it comes to emotional uh, connection. So let's see what she is finding ideal today in, 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 the, in the present. So let's start with the archetypes that she got. She got uh, the archetype of mother, a storyteller, beggar, and femme fatale. And then um, the card from the Romantic Angels Oracle, it's get to know each other. So um, starting with mother, this is very interesting because actually uh, I think that um, one NCT member that I read yesterday for, he got mother as the first archetype too. Um, and it's interesting because I think that this probably talks about um because i was looking at her as her energy at uh, her chart and she has like a lot of air placements and a lot of capricorn and i believe that the only water element that she has is harmonious scorpio so probably these other uh, characteristics about the air element and the, the earth element in her beer chart makes her a bit like more like it's harder for her to connect with her emotional needs she does have very profound emotional needs it's like once she falls in love or she f starts feeling something for someone she develops very intense feelings almost like some kind of attachment but i think that since she is a nurse sign and there's a lot of earth element in her Probably she does have, uh, she does struggle with being able to show herself being vulnerable and being, allowing herself to be this sensitive and being like, okay, in my relationship, I want someone that can take care of me since I, in my everyday life, I'm the one that is in charge of making sure that everyone needs is fulfilled. So I think that starting with this uh, mother archetype, what she wants actually, it's someone that, yes, can be very loving as a mother nature, you know, very accepting, very unconditional, very, very giving, very, um, 
very loving towards towards her. I think that there's a part of her that she definitely wants to be feeling like she um she's been taken care of and and you know when I think about the mother archetype, I think that probably um someone that would be really good for her would be someone that has like a cancer moon or it's a cancer sign, you know because cancer is ruled by the moon by the planet the moon. Uh, and the moon represents the mother archetype. So I think that probably what she could find very like compatible with her zodiac signs energy, with her birth chart, it would be someone with uh, a cancer placements. You know, I think that uh, since these people are very devoted to the loved ones and are very always eager to protect and to nourish others with a lot of love and attention i think that she would be really like like in a very successful union and relationship if she could meet someone with these characteristics then we have the card of the storyteller so she does want someone that has like a very vivid imagination someone that can be really good with words that probably is very good at texting or and this is her Aquarius nature you know about her more communication I think that she finds attractive someone that is able to seduce her with nice words someone that that it's really good at communication at communicating I think that uh, probably she does pay attention to the way the person communicates with her um, she does pay like very uh, like like in special attention to what the person says you know and 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 what they don't say so probably someone that it's very like uh, unsure about their style of communication or is not very good at making conversation I think she wouldn't find that attractive uh, I think that definitely she wants someone that is very communicative and that at the same time um, can be good at storytelling you know someone that it's really good at which I think that this is very it's very interesting actually I do agree with her in this I, I do find attractive myself I know that this really isn't about me but I give him, I'm giving my personal experience or point of view here uh, for me, it's very important also that the person uh, that I like is able to to have a conversation, you know, to be able to talk about them, uh, to talk up with them about life or about what's their opinion, that they are able to put into words how they feel and what their perceptions are. And I think that this is what happens with her, but sometimes what happens with this uh, storyteller archetype is that this person is so good with words that sometimes they can be a bit uh, liars you know a bit like uh, the kind of person that makes things up you know that the kind of person that always has like some kind of arranged speech you know or they have this kind of already set up like this kind of um um you know like the the guy that that it's like that knows how to convince you with words but actually sometimes words it depends on who is is talking but sometimes the the people that that says a lot probably or that really are very talkative sometimes they're really good at manipulating the truth or the facts so i think that she needs to be take a bit like um observant in that sense like be able to listen beyond the speech do not buy the tale you know do not buy the the anecdote pay attention to what this person is saying because sometimes uh the people that are really good with words they can uh, trick you they can like actually like manipulate you with words and maybe you are so like hypnotized or you are so amazed or attracted to what they're saying that you cannot actually listen to what they really mean you know so this is something that she needs to pay attention I don't know how they say it in English but I think that 
uh, one of the words it's uh, one of the labels it's a smooth talker you know someone a, a male that is really good with words and actually that uh, th that this person is like uh, they what a compliment that they tell you they tell this to every person like they meet so you are not that special something like that and then we have the card of the beggar which i think that um there's something about her like she definitely likes broken people i don't know why um probably because she does have a side of herself where she wants to be of service to others and probably she wants someone that also has like very profound emotional needs you know and someone that somehow has gone through really rough times and probably she's the kind of person that likes to to connect with people that had or is having a hard time you know someone that is struggling maybe with some mental health issues some uh, confidence uh, issues you know some self-esteem issues some traumatic events happen to them it's like she wants to be there for that person and that somehow this indicates that she she wants to be um, she wants to be someone saver and and this also is something that I think she with that moon in Scorpio hers is probably that she will have this kind of bond with people or that she will bond with people because of trauma so I think that this could become a bit toxic if she doesn't pay attention to what she's doing in the sense that you cannot save other people each of us we have our own wood, wounds and our own baggage to deal with so of course that a meaningful relationship and a very attentive and loving partner can help us to overcome everything you know and to go through the day and to wanting to be a better person but uh, it doesn't substitute the fact that you need to uh, take care of your own um, wealth, uh, well-being, in the sense that you can be in a really good relationship, but if you do not take care of yourself, if you do not love yourself first, you are not going to be uh, a very good partner. You know, so I think that she needs to to uh, pay attention to that. You know, probably, but I think that also here with the beggar, probably she wants someone that it's very vulnerable or that somehow yes they went through moments where they felt like they didn't have love or acceptance or appreciation of their loved ones so she wants someone that is very aware of their needs or what they didn't have when they were younger for example and to be able to be honest enough about their history and being like uh, yes, please. Now that I, I am with you, I I need you to to give me love because uh, I didn't have it back then or something like that. You know, uh, the beggar archetype is our ability to be vulnerable and to show ourselves and to be like, I have this need, you know, or I have this. I didn't have this growing up. I didn't have a, uh, someone that was there for me. So uh, now I'm begging you to actually help me um, connect with this need that I have. So this talks about allowing yourself to be vulnerable. So probably she wants someone that, that yes, is, is kind of broken or had like a tough experience but that this allows this person to connect with what they need to heal or what they need for their partner to provide for them emotionally. So this talks about this person having the characteristics of being, of being really in touch with their emotional needs and being able to not be afraid to be like, I need you to be, I need you to give me this because I didn't have it or I need you to to provide this for me emotionally you know 
And then the other card, uh, the last archetype, is the, the archetype of Femme Fatale, which is interesting. This is, I think, that this is Harmon Scorpio uh, also asking. I think that, um, and, and there's like a connection between the beggar and the Femme Fatale. Probably she finds uh, sexy someone or sensual and attractive someone that it's like, very aware of their emotional needs you know probably someone that is broken or wounded she finds that attractive you know she finds that you know someone with a dark past or with some i don't know like insecurities you know she does find that that attractive she does find that very alluring you know she finds that very hot uh, maybe because it's like she finds it she finds sexy that that person can be that vulnerable, you know, and, and that that person is showing herself, is showing her uh, their whole self, you know, without, without masks, without pretending, you know, she wants to get to the core of the person. She wants to, like, uh, take off all the veils, all the masks, all the... Uh, all the the beautiful um, uh, accessories, you know, she wants to see the person for who they are inside. So probably when the, she reaches this moment of connecting with someone's vulnerable past or vulnerable experiences, she finds that very sexy, and actually she finds that very alluring. Um, and she, because it, I think that it makes her feel special that actually someone that is wounded or someone that is broken or someone that is somehow traumatized by something, um, like it's, it's able to want to connect with her in an emotional level. Um, and she, because she is a moon Scorpio, she does have the ability to heal others. So it's not a coincidence that she it's not that she finds uh, broken people exciting just to, for the novelty, you know, just for being like, oh, I want to know what it's like to have like a tough past or a trauma or, or a traumatic um, relationship or 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 being tra traumatized by something. She actually wants to get in touch with someone with these characteristics in order to heal them because she does have the power of healing. And I think that this also makes her attractive uh, for this kind of people. Um, so, and, and also with the femme fatale here, probably what she finds attractive is someone that is very comfortable with being sexy or with being sensual. Uh, someone that um, probably uses sex to to heal themselves uh, probably she's a very passionate person so she wants someone that can be passionate as well that is not afraid to be uh, sensual and sexual but for her to get to this uh, to this point where she's comfortable with being sensual um, uh, she needs to have this kind of emotional connection with that person she's, otherwise she will not she will not be able and then the cards of the romantic oracle and uh, romance angels oracle um the card that she got is get to know each other so <clears throat> i think that this is very meaningful because there's something you know like i was mentioning before about the storyteller you know about the beggar you know sometimes uh people sometimes they they sell you a story about themselves or probably they like somehow can like uh, perceive that you have a certain like attraction for example in her case for people with issues so probably that person can like adjust their story or their uh, their narrative in order to um, to be with her you know so i think that the card of uh, get to know each other it means that probably she needs to spend more time getting to know the person um because i think that sometimes um 
some people, especially the people that are around her, they choose like tell her what she wants to hear. And she has to be very, I think that she knows this. I think that she's very aware of this. Um, but somehow, sometimes she evades this truth and, and when she, because it's like when she's interested, she is interested, you know, there's, it's like she, she knows she is like avoiding some, some truth, uh, but somehow she cannot help it because it's like she, she's already invested in the bond or in the relationship. But I think she needs to be more careful about um, not jumping too fast into a relationship or not like um getting like like to uh, like buying their this person's speech or story or um I think that she needs to be more careful about that because she could potentially be taken taken advantage of um in the sense that probably yes the person that she talks to they can uh, go through some kind of um emotional um um issue or something like that or or a very like uh harsh time but uh, probably they they will move on eventually and and just like when they are moving on or or they when they are like uh, okay now I'm, I'm i'm over this like now i'm fine you know probably she this person will be like, okay, I don't, I don't want to be with you anymore because I'm already, uh, I'm already sane, I'm already healed, you know, I already healed, so we don't have anything in common. Like, thank you for listening to me, or thank you for being this kind of, thank you for for saving me or for helping me. Like now, I'm much better, so I will move on, you know. So I think that she definitely needs to take more time in getting to know the person. And not so much like um, buying their 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 stories, especially their sad anecdotes or something like that, you know. Because probably when they do tell her this, is to 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 get her like emotional or to to so this story can be touching, you know, and and so that it can convince her, you know. Um, I think that she needs to pay more attention to not so much what they say, more like what they do. The, she needs to pay attention to the person's body language, um, how they live their lives, um, what is their relationship with others, if they have friends, how, how they treat their friends, you know, how they behave when they are with others. I think that she needs to connect more with her intuition i think that there's a part of her that she is like she knows that she's been lied to but somehow uh, sometimes she tries to evade this because she is already like invested in the bond so it's hard for her to be like turning back you know like being oh like for her she when she falls in love she falls in love deep very deep so it's hard for her to back down then so yes, this is the reading for Twice Geo. I hope that you enjoyed it, guys. So I would appreciate your feedback if you are a fan of her. So and I also am taking recommendations. So if you would like me to read for another female idols, I always read you. So thank you so much for being here. Bye.